Hey everybody. I hope I'm going to make sure my sound is up. Yep. 100%. 100%. So you can catch me. You don't want to have to. I move my sign over here because every time I'd walk by, I'd knock it on the floor and I got bruises all over the place from knocking, knocking in things, walking into things. And, oh, that's a mess. So anyway, I'm the Crafty Floridian. I'm Billy. I live here in Florida in Sarasota County. And I want to thank um, Chevy Rail for bringing um, to my attention an organization here that takes care of, um, uh, what was it called, um, Last Stop Foundation, Last, oh my gosh, I can't believe it was right here. I mean, it was right here. Anyway, it's gone. But anyway, if you watched Chevy Rail's last podcast, she talked about an organization here that volunteers take in um, dogs and cats in their last hours or last days or months or whatever, however long they stay. So anyway, I looked them up. They're right here in Sarasota County. So um, I'm going to um, get in touch with them. I am going to buy a couple of their little... Um, uh, little, uh, um, now, uh, now, let's see, they are tote bags. I'm sorry. All of a sudden, I just, my mind was real sharp until I turned the camera on. <laughs> so anyway, they, um, I'm going to, to get in touch with them. They're, they were closed, but I looked, I looked in the red. I know where they're located and so on and so forth. So thank you very much, Chevy. I really appreciate it, especially right here in my own hometown. And also, um, another crochet sister brought to my attention um, some yarn places, one in Winter Haven that she goes to that she loves. And I went online and I looked at that. And then it happens to be there's one here in Inglewood. And then there's uh, one in Sarasota, a couple in Sarasota, but one they, everybody says it's very, very expensive. And that's like, you know, downtown kind of thing. So, um, but, and then there's, well, there's quite a few around. So when things uh, calm down and we get uh, back, get everybody healthy, that we can travel more, I'm going to look into those. So first of all, I got lots of little things to, you know me, I got lots of little things to go over. But, oh, did I bring it in? Oh, my gosh. I, wait a minute. Just a second. I'm going to have to stop this little baby because I had it in my hand and then I laid it on something. And now I don't remember. I had picked up a couple things that I worked on in the other room. So let me go get those and I'll be right back. Well, I'm a little bit out of breath. <laughs> I left... The items I wanted to show you in the bedroom, because I had taken them from the living room to the bedroom so I could go to the bathroom before I start my podcast. Then I ended up picking them up with the bed. And then I said, well, let me get myself, oh, I can't open it, a power drink. Because uh, I was getting thirsty. <laughs> so I came back in with the power drink and forgot to pick up the object. I'm losing it. <laughs> so here's to your health, everybody. Power aid. And this is uh, fruit punch, I believe. Mm. Nice and tasty. So, and it's cold, real cold. So as usual, it's Sunday. I took my shower, my Sunday shower. And I put roses on today, so I smell all rosy. <laughs> all nice and rosy. It's nice and creamy, and ooh, everything's so soft. But first of all, let's start with, I, may, I, I did some acquisitions. No, first of all, let me show you this. I got in the mail. Yes, I did. I got a card, another Thanksgiving card. And it says, thinking of you. And it's in orange. But it says, remembering you is one of the special joys of this beautiful season. Happy Thanksgiving, Cynthia. And she's from Melbourne, Florida. 
Thank you, Cynthia, so much. I got two cards. I was so excited. Thank you so, so much. It made my day. I know, just a little card can make your day, and it makes me so happy. So thank you so much. You're going to go up here with the, the other Thanksgiving card I got. Thank you so much. I surely appreciate it. Okay, the, I got some acquisitions. I got some more beads, but they're too small, but I'm going to use them anyway. I'll have to put, like, two. And I got um, the beads are beiges and browns because I, I needed, needed those. <laughs> I didn't really need them, but I needed needed to have them for my facts. And I also purchased some more patches. Now, these patches came from, where do these patches come from? Um, I think these came from Amazon. Yeah. And they, they're so cute. Look at this. This is white, but is it blown? Nope. Look at that little puppy. Isn't it cute? That little puppy. And look at this little puppy. That little dog. Look at him. He's like a bulldog, doesn't he? And then they had some kitty cats. Like this little cat with the ball of yarn. Oops, let me hold this right. See the little cat with the ball of yarn? And if it looks blurry, because it is kind of blurry, it's kind of a different kind of technique. And this looks like my girl, Rosie. Doesn't that look like Rosie? And let's see what else. Oh, and look at this one. I love this one. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love it. And then they have the tabby. Isn't she the cutest kitten? And let's see. Oh, I just love the faces on these. Aren't they cute? Um, oh, here's a very colorful one. They'll look pretty on red or yellow. Pretty, huh? And let's see. Oh, look at this little. This is a uh, dog, I think. Look, he's got his glasses on. Yep, little dog. He's got his, his sweater or his scarf on with his glasses. That is so cute. So there's, there's lots more. Oh, and this one. I like this one, too. Look how colorful they are. Wouldn't that be pretty on purple? Purple. Well, it looks gray, but look, when you see the gray, it looks like purple, doesn't it? But anyway, so I got a um, a little things of a few a few dogs and then the cats because I got all those other dogs that uh, Ingrid sent me. So like she sent me like two packages of them. So I've got plenty of patches now for my bags. So that's good. And I also got oops, more cord for my um, for my bags. So I got those in. And let's see. I'm going to sneeze. Don't sneeze, Billy. <coughs> that was three, right? Okay, we got it. Okay, so I've been working on some stuff this weekend. I didn't feel like doing a lot of stuff around the house, which I never do feel like doing anything. <laughs> so anyway, I decided uh, to work on a few things. Now, first off, now these, these, some of these, let me show you a couple. Now, these were commissioned items. Uh, these were requests for some eyeglass cases. So, I made this red one, and this little pen here is a frog, and if you're watching this, Vicki, this is from Wendy West's mother's collection of pens, and I put a little, humming, a little hummingbird here on this side, and then I have the little strap here, but she wanted red, and then she gave me like four colors, and I went with her favorite, which is red, and her second favorite was purple. And this little pen here, I keep, I'm turning it crooked with my finger. Anyway, this little pen here was also from Wenda Westa's mother's collection. And it's like stone. It's really, you could tell, if you look on the back, you can tell that this was handmade by somebody. Um, I didn't look up, I can't seem to get this straight. 
and it's the way I'm holding it, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so this, this is from her collection. And I put, um, this was the last of my little sunglasses that I had. These, she's using them for sunglass cases. So this is a little, the little sunglasses. And then the little purple uh, strap. So these, I wanted to show you these before I um, ship them. I've got the box here ready to put them in right there. So these, these uh, are $27 plus shipping because I put them in boxes. And that costs, you know how box, box items cost. That's why I put a lot in plastic bags because it's a lot cheaper to mail. So these are for Vicki. And um, I'm going to get these in the mail. Um, I'm wrapping these with... Um, I've got so much to mail out that I'm trying to get it all packed up and go. Um, what else was I going to show you? Uh, okay, so I showed you... Oh, the little coin purse. Where is it? Oh, this little coin purse was also ordered by someone. But I just wanted to show you how cute that is on pink. I just love that. This this little French... French uh, little Frenchie. And he's got a little pink little pink tongue right there but this is going out too today but I wanted to show you and I just I think it's adorable I put little stuff in there and of course your little you don't you don't give someone a little purse of any kind unless you put a coin in it for good luck and I'm wishing you good luck with this so this is ready I've got the box for that so that's going out too so we'll move that over and then the Hirschner gifts the puzzle and the diamond paint, the diamond painting is already packed. The Hirschner box, I did not know. Susan, Susan Marsh lives in England. So I've got to um, um, figure out how much that's going to cost. So I got them. I'm getting everything boxed up that's going to be going. And um, and now I'm, I'm going to show you some things that I worked out. Because I'm going to do a special this, this week. Just this week for Thanksgiving, Black Friday, and all that stuff. So, um, I'm going to show you the bags, my little bags that I've made so far. And whatever I make this week up through Sunday, up through Sunday, I'm discounting it. And instead of, um, um, let's see, where's my bags? Okay. The bags will be uh, $22.50 instead of $25, and that includes shipping. Now, that's a real bargain, but I figure with the holidays coming, if you guys, you know, um, a little discount here and there, every penny helps, right? So anyway, that's that's what the bags are going to be, is $22.50, the little bags, the little bags that I'm going to show you with the numbers on them. Um, that I've made so far. I'm going to be making more, but I just want to show you that way. It'll give me a chance to, to, to space it out as far as shipping is concerned. Also, I cut, I had some more of the fabric of the, the pot holders I made. So I am going to have a couple of sets of the pot holders available. I've got them all, all ready to go. And these are going to be a little larger than the other ones because I ran out of the five inches. So I made these, these are the 10 inch, so they're going to be 10 inches. And if you want one, that's fine. The pot holders are $25 a set. And if you want just one, if you want just one, I think it's $13 if you want just one. Okay? That's because of this, it's because of fabric. So I will have some pot holders available. Um, a couple sets, two or three sets, I think I'll have available once I put these. So, oh, the other thing I wanted to ask you um, is, what do you think if we just put this on one side and then a solid color on the other side? What do you think of that? But I kind of like both on both sides, don't you? Both, yeah, that's fine. Now, I'll just do it the way I've been doing it. Now, okay, pay attention now because this is, someone had, um, I don't know 
who said it. They said it in passing or whatever, but I need an email from you that said they would. Now, I've got this all cut. This is going to be panel for the for a I'm going to make it so that it's um, like a tote and then it's going to have it on both sides I think I will have two of these I'm not sure but I've got this one done I wanted to try one before I start the other and it's going to have um, a lining and it's also going to have the uh, thick sponge cups because that's the only way that's going to fit so that it'll look nice you know and stand up so that's that's my goal anyway is to um to make this into a tote bag so the person that really wanted this please please just send me an email with just that on there so that i will know that it, you know that you would like it but i am i'm going to go ahead and um Finish cut. I got the I got the lining already picked out. It's going to be this this color, and uh, all I have to do is cut that and then cut the 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 uh, interfacing, and then sew it together and then make the handles. And um, I'll probably make the handles out of the uh, lining because this material. You know what? I might have some of this material. I do. I do. I do. I do. I do. So I can make it out of it's. It, yeah, I, I'll make it out of this because I screwed up one of these. I guess I was cutting it and I didn't move the the fabric out of the way and I cut a little slice right in the middle. I know, isn't that stupid? So I, that that I can use to make the handles with. So anyway, so that's what I'm going to do with this. You let me know. I I don't have a price for it yet. It's not going to be you know inexpensive because I have to put it all together and I got to get all the materials put together and all that good stuff and I want to make pockets so that I have enough material I can make pockets for it I'll make a pocket for each side I want to make it really really nice for you so I know that someone said they wanted it if you would please let me know and refer to the email that you sent me um, or if you've got that email just just reply to that email or forward it to me that would be wonderful too. Just look in your history. Okay, so that's what I want to do with this. So that's that's coming. I got these ready. So these go in the the box that needs to be done. Then the next thing I did is I took a couple squares and I sat down and I brought out some um, the squares that Petra that Petra made. Um, and I brought out some of my yarn and mixed it up and mixed up the the um the uh 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 now somebody said to use the word now when you want to say ah uh, but i'm searching for words and that's really hard so now i'll show you what i put together so far this is the first one this is the first side now the the square that petra sent me goes all the way to the rose color here and the rest of it is what I did. And I just did some, a variety of um, different stitches. Not too much. I didn't want to make it too fancy. And, and everybody says, well, I just make it up as I go along. I just have to remember, you just have to remember the stitches that you're working with. So that when you, when you do your design that you, you come out even. And then this is the other side. So I made this not, not as colorful as the other one, but I didn't want them all to look alike. And then I just did my own my own thing. Now her design went all the way to the yellow or this light green. That's that was what she did. And then I did the the other uh two three color two colors. One, two, three. The two colors that I put in here, and then on this one I put um Four colors: the the yellow, this green, lettuce green in the yellow at the end. So that was. So I know someone had asked me if I was making any more. So if you want this one, you want to claim it. And these have wooden. I put wooden handle on these. So I've got the, the same 
uh, interfacing that I use for the fabric bags, I will be using on these. And then I put a liner in it with pockets. So, um, yeah. So I, I whipped that up pretty fast. I was really amazed that I did. And I just love it. I love it. I love, I love it. I just love it. And I wanted to just, you just, you have to work with colors that make it pop. And I think that really made that uh, beautiful square that she made on both of these pop. Don't you? I mean, it, you know, if you use colors that, say, if you use these colors, it would have blended in. It never would have shown this beautiful 3D, this flower that she made is just gorgeous. I just love it. So anyway, so that's that's um, just a matter of, of sewing them. It'll probably take me a day to, to do the lining, and I have to sew that in by hand and then make the, the, the crochet, the, the, uh, the part that goes in through the handles and stuff. So I like that, all these little... Must have been pressing against something. Okay, so that is something. And send me an email if you want. I know that someone had mentioned those, so this is coming up. Okay, so we got that done. Now, uh, let's see. Da, da, da. The Hirschner gifts are going out. Uh, the gift to Chiquita is going out. Something for Rose is going out. Let's see. Okay, and now let me show you. I finished the, um, the, the, the cozies that I had fixed. Now, someone asked, and she's from being, she's a water cozy, and I should have brought a bolt. This is a cozy, and you stick your bowl in here, or whatever that'll fit in here that you could put in your microwave, so that when it, get, when you lift it out, you've got, you can lift it out here, and you don't have to touch the hot plate. Now, I do, there is some, pla I have some plastic, kind of like oval-like things that I use sometimes to warm up stuff, and I could place that right in here, too. I mean, you'd be amazed how much. Now, these are 10 inches. This is the larger ones. I do not have any more smaller um, cotton batting. If you make cozies at home, please make sure that you have 100% cotton for both sides and 100% cotton batting and that your thread is 100% cotton. Any cozy, I don't care what it is, should, should not be left longer than five to six minutes. Now, if you put, put increments of two minutes, I mean, you can, it's to warm things up, not to cook things in, okay? I know I had someone a long time ago and I th think, they said that it, uh, one of my cozies b burned up in the microwave. This was a long time ago. And I kept thinking that maybe it was, and it, I think it turned out that maybe she kept it in the, um, in the microwave a little bit too long. Well, this is a long, long time ago. Couldn't be that long, but it was a long time ago. So anyway, I have three of these Christmas ones. And this is the fabric that has the snowman and all that stuff. So I have three of those. And the, oh, 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 oh let me, the cozies are $13 each or a set of two at a discount amount of $22.50. If you get it, if you just buy it regularly, it's $13. If you want a set of two, I'm giving you the 10% discount. So it'd be $22.50 for a set. Okay, so that's, I, I, these I just cut and made, and I don't know why, I guess because, but I got that new cozy stuff, do padding and stuff in the other day, and I've got it in my cutting room, and I started uh, on that last night, I'm going to cut some more. I got some little uh, cappuccini cups and stuff, fabric that I'm going to use, and um, I've got some wine bottles that I'm going to use, and I've also got some uh, some different kinds of fruits and stuff. So anyway, I got I got some fabric that I've picked out that I'm going to do more of these because these are great stocking stuffers or great little home warming gifts or something because everybody uses them. I mean, if you've got a microwave. Now, some people don't have a microwave. Now, who doesn't have a microwave? Chevy doesn't have a microwave except in the camper. 
So anyway, that is what we use these for. Because I was going to send some to Chevy, but I guess I won't send them now since she doesn't have a microwave. But anyway, that's what these are used for right here. And then I have two of the pandas. And that's, now you could, these are interchangeable, you know. Here's the pandas on the outside. Or you could take it like this and put the pandas on the inside and this on the outside. I just call that the lining, but it's interchangeable. Um, I might make more colorful. I like them so they kind of match up a little bit, you know. So I thought this green looked nice with the, uh, the green, the bamboo in the panda stuff. And I sent a, a four of these to Ter uh, Sherry. And, um, and she wrote me back and said that she loved them and also, um, Raven liked them. So that's great. I'm glad you like them. So I have, I, I just have two of these. I can make more. I have lots of this fabric, so I can make more. Also, I'm going to be, I'm going to be cutting some large bags. Some, some people have voiced that they would love to have a large bag in the panda. So I am going to be making some large bags. I've pulled the fabric and everything and I'm ready to to cut these okay so that's that's these wonderful little uh, cozies okay what up now let's go with um, let's go with the bags okay these are the some I made more bags and then I have a two left of the ones that I presented to you last time so I'm going to go through these Let's turn these over. Okay. Everybody likes the teacups. So here's the teacup fabric. Isn't that cute? I'm going to also make, uh, someone had requested a large bag in this, so I'm making also making a large bag in the teacup. Now, and on this, it has a, the stitch marker is a strawberry. You have a strawberry with your tea. Let's see. These are from Rose, Rose Likes Crochet. See, it has a little strawberry on it. So anyway, so this is number one. It's the teacup. I do have, I do believe I have more of these cut. I just went ahead and made one of each so that you could see them if you like them. I've already made one for someone that I'm putting, going to get that into the mail tonight but I just thought that was so pretty and I did get this at Hobby Lobby so if you want to check that out and that was number one the teacups number two of course is the pugs so I made a bunch of these for people and so I went ahead and made another one and I do have more material for that number two is the pugs okay and Number three, of course, is the, I call them the colorful dogs. And you've seen that one. Well, I made another one. People really like those. and has, I put a little Christmas um, stitch marker on it. Because I ran out of the dog stitch markers. Rosie, I ran out of the dog stitch markers. I got to send her an email. But anyway, I need more of those because I got more stuff. That's number three. Number four is the fabric that um, Michelle Chapone sent me. But look at that. Isn't that cute? It's got the little cats on it. And I used um, I used the white lining in this one because of, that's the only color I had to really match it up. I did have a blue, but... I don't know. I just, I like the, I just kind of like the white made it pop more. But yeah, so that's the little kitty cats. I love this material. It's big and it's nice and, and um, sturdy. I like this. And I have two of those already done, made up. And then number five is some leftover fabric that I had of the pineapples. I'm sure you've seen this. I know, um, Ella has made um, bags out of the pineapple. So this is all that I had left of it. So I went ahead and made um, a bag with the, uh, it's like peacock blue, but the blue to match in there. So 
that is number five is the pineapples. And then number six is the, the sunflowers. I think this is the last sunflower bag. I'm not sure, but I think, I'm not sure. But I put a little bee, see the little bee stitch marker? Isn't that cute? I just love this, her stitch markers. I keep saying that, don't I? And then this is the one that I had made before, and that's number seven. And that's the gingham look with the a row of pigs and a row of cows. And it's got the, the burgundy uh, interior. Now these measure, um, this is like from here to here is like 12 inches. And then from here to here is like 12 inches. <laughs> I think it was 12 inches. Or was it 11 inches? Yeah, 11, 11, 11, almost 11 by 12. And of course, if you take the box bottom and stretch that out, it'll stretch out to another two inches. Okay, so that's number seven. And then I have two of the paper dolls. Whoops. Number eight. And I have two of these. These are the paper dolls. And the pink. Did I put pink in both? Yes, I put pink in both of them. This is very sturdy material, too. I really like that. I like that feel of it. This number eight. The paper dolls. And then number nine is the, the dogs on the burgundy color. And I put, oh, I put the brown color in there. That's what I stopped Hobby Lobby for the other day was to get the liner for these, see that color? So that's number nine. 10, I have two of these and you've seen these before, number 10 the ones with the colorful flowers and they have both of them have the yellow um, lining so I have two of those number 10 number 11 is I love my cat someone had wanted this but they didn't send me an email um, so this is still available it has a little cat where's that little cat little cat stitch marker on it And number 12 is the Southwest Pottery. You know, this they, this really looks better in person. Now, the, the color I used with the terracotta um, in it, I don't know, the coloring. It's much brighter in person. I think you would love it. Whoops, I thought I saw it. There, wait a minute, sideways. There, can you see the color now? See how pretty that color is? So this is number 12. The Southwest pot Pottery, that's what I call it. And it has a, a Southwestern stitch marker. It has it's like, a, you know, like the turquoise on there. So that was number 12. Num and number 13 is the pink, pink um, Eiffel Tower. I took pictures of these the other day. I mean, after I made them, and I put I put um, where's the this yarn in it? Well, I put one in. To, it takes about three or four to fill it up. I was so surprised. But I was I was thinking about putting everything on Etsy. And then I thought, well, Etsy or whatever it's called. Um, so I started taking pictures, and then I, oh they. Uh, and then I have to, ah, oh, put them on. Oh, geez. I said, ah, I'll just do it this way for now. Till the end of the year, and then I'll think about it some more. So those are the bags, and they are $22.50, and that includes your shipping up through Sunday. Even the ones that I make on top of this uh, for the for this week. It's my Thanksgiving. Thank 
thankful that you guys watch me and buy my stuff and thankful that um, that uh, the, the money goes to uh, shipping my boxes for the kids and also for very special, special person this Christmas I, that I want to make them have a nice Christmas. So thank you, everybody. I certainly do appreciate it. Mm. I'm feeling powerful. Ooh, my muscles getting any bigger? <laughs> the fat is, but is the muscles getting bigger? Okay. And then I still have... These are... All right, let me see what I did with the coin purses. Coin purses, okay. Where's my coin purses? Coin purses, for this week only, I took 10% off their $22.50 plus shipping. So it's a couple, two, three bucks off. So um, just for the, so the bags, the coin purses, and a set of two, co uh, set of two cozies. Is that right? Yeah, or twenty-two fifty. So um, the pot holders are still twenty-five a set, and the back, the back. So those are the only things that I have on sale. So I still, oh, I made this one. Now I want to tell y'all the story behind this. This says Happy Holidays, and it's a cat. And right here is a little mouse, and there's the tail of the mouse hanging out of his mouth. Can you see that? When I was working for a company called Benchmark Systems way back in the 80s, we had a, um, you know, a secret Santa kind of thing, you know, it, where you, you drew a name and then you buy that per person a gift. Well, this guy was so sweet that he gave me this pen. So that's how old this is. And so um, I wanted to put it on here because I thought it was very festive. So it says happy holidays. And you could take this pen off, but it, you could wear it. I thought, well, for the holidays, you could put it on and then um, you could take it off uh, when it's not the holidays or you can keep it on there all the time. That's up to you. So, um, so they're twenty-two fifty, but I I made this the other day, or finished making it, I guess I should say. So this one is all ready to go, but but it's got the little heart. It's got the little heart. I found, and I don't have any more heart. Well, yeah, I do. I have a purple heart one that I'm going to make because I got some perfect. I can't, I went all the way and I couldn't find any more of that cord. And it costs, okay, at Hobby Lobby, listen, at Hobby Lobby, it costs $3.99. Okay? Or $2.99 for the two millimeter, two millimeter, two mm. If you go on Amazon for two mm, it's like 12 bucks. That's like three times as much. So, but I had to order some because of some special orders. So anyway, I just, it's, um, um, and uh, people have asked me about, do I do tutorials? I don't do tutorials. I'm sorry. I just, I mean, I could do them, but you know, the can you have to have special lighting and cameras stuff. And man, I'm just a straight on kind of girl. You know, I, I don't know how to do all that other stuff. So, um, no, I don't do tutorials. Where I got this idea from was from Crystal at Bag O' Day. Now, she has a tutorial. But if you just enter coin purses, you'll have a ton of a ton of tutorials that'll teach you all kinds of ways to do them. And, they, and I do mine with cord, cord, and they do theirs with fabric. I mean, yarn. So, I mean, you know, and then there's fabric coin purses, too. I've even got a pattern for one. But I haven't made that. I enjoy doing these. Why should I spoil something that I enjoy doing with trying to figure out pattern with fabric? I don't think so. So that's where I got got my initial um, tutorial was from Crystal at Bag O' Day. 
and she does it with fat, with yarn and scrubby that scrubby yarn too she she puts them together and it gives a real neat look and I've made tons of those too so anyway so I have this one with a happy dollar so this pen is what 40 years old or so or more something like that so anyway so there's that one and of course I still have the butterfly one and what did I do with the oh here they are so I have the butterfly one everybody seems to like it but nobody wants to buy it where's my dark blue might not have dark blue I have black oh here it is I knew they had dark blue you can't order a bunch of the same color you know what I mean you, you get the variety pack but I, I seem to go through them pretty well so uh, they, they only have like the silver now I would have loved to have had the gold some gold ones you know but uh, to go with the gold but that's all right we work with what we have so that's the butterfly I love that butterfly pen isn't that pretty so for $22.50 you have a nice little gift for somebody so I have that and I still have this little dog Silver. Now I'm going to put the little chain on it. All I've got y'all's attention. Well, I'm, I'm eating up time. I'm so sorry. Good grief, Billy. I just wanted to get this out of the way because I want to get this stuff shipped and get any orders in. Then I want to get those done. So, see? Cute, huh? But I, I just, I think this is a schnauzer, I think. I'm not sure. And then I have, I love this one. I love this little dog. There with his ball and his food. Isn't that pretty? Love that. I did get purple. I'll have to see what other color I could put him on. Oh, I got cinnamon in. Yes, I did. I got a, a thing of cinnamon. I could make, I think I can make two coin purses out of one of the small ones. But I noticed that the. It looks smaller coming from what's the name and then I have the green one here yeah I just got these in yesterday was it yesterday no was it today it was today I got these in. it's what is today no it was yesterday today's Sunday and I thought it was Monday you see but they match up pretty good don't they that's pretty cool and, oh, you saw that one. And then, of course, I still have this. One. I think it's gonna. I'm gonna be getting a sharp to put on that for somebody. So the coin purses are $22.50. I'll be making more. I, I got that cinnamon in, and I got. I want to do the purple with the purple, the purple heart clasp. So that's what I have there. And I'm thinking. I think that's it. I think I'm finished, guys. <laughs> I've been working on my blanket. I'm also working on that other little top that I have. I do a little this, a little that. So I think that's it. Uh, I think I've showed you everything. Now I can start packing all this stuff up. And um, if you have any, um, I think I've gone over the, the prices with you, the coin purses. Are going to be twenty-two fifty until the end until next Sunday for a week. Um, the cozies, the ten-inch cozies, are thirteen dollars each, or you can get a set of two for twenty-two fifty. Um, the pot holders are twenty-five dollars set, and that includes shipping. The bags are going to be twenty-two fifty until next Sunday, and that is only if it's ordered and paid before next Sunday okay no holdovers if you want to pay it some other day after next Sunday then it'll be regular price okay I think that's only fair um, because I want to get this stuff out of here I'm, I'm trying to get things cleaned up so I'm going to go do my packing I mean packing you know packing my oh that's attached to something. 
I was trying to pull this out of the way that's attached to a bag. <laughs> I gotta put stuff away and then I gotta get all this all the stuff boxed up and get the labels made and get it ready for the um, I was gonna say get ready for the preacher <laughs> it is Sunday isn't it <laughs> get ready for the preacher you know get ready for the mailman tomorrow <laughs> but um, I don't know if I'll see you before Thanksgiving or not or maybe Thanksgiving yeah maybe I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we'll do a live for all of us stay-at-home Thanksgiving folks. I don't know. But I'm cooking. Yep. But not for, not for, uh, just me and Penny. Uh, Sue's going to her, to her um, niece and nephew down the, down the road a piece. So Sue's, Sue's, uh, Sue, shoot, Penny's cooking a little bit. Uh, and I'm cooking a little bit, so we'll have a nice meal. So I'm looking forward to it. Not the cook, not the cleaning up. Though I got to clean up the kitchen before I start cooking. But I got a turkey breast, and that's going to go in the. Um, I cook it in the uh, slow cooker. Oh, and if you if you cook it right, it is the most moist meat you've ever had. If you cook it in this, you know, put your butter and your your water and stuff in there. And you can cook a, it takes like four hours or something to cook a turkey breast. I think it's four hours. And I've been doing it that way forever now that I'm single. Why turn an oven on all day for a turkey? No. And it's just me. And we both like breasts, so we're, we're doing good. But she's doing the green bean casserole and the cranberry sauce. And um, what else? Oh, she's making the dressing. So I'm doing the turkey and the candy yams and the mashed potatoes and um, the Watergate salad. Oh, that's right. I have to make that the day before. Now, I guess I take that. I have to thaw that turkey out in the refrigerator. I think it takes three days. So I might take that out tomorrow and start defrosting the turkey. But yeah, I mean, why not? I mean, it's um, just the two of us and we'll have leftovers for the rest of the week with all that food. But I've already done my shopping, so I am ready to rock and roll. And also got stuff to make the um, taco soup. Yes, it's that time of the year. I, I saw those pictures of people with the snow coming down. I'm thinking, geez, I'm going to get that taco soup. <laughs> like I'm in the middle of it, right? No, it's very warm, warm and humid here. So we're, but it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's, it's, it's good. Very, very good. Okie dokie. Well, that's all that I have for today. I'm sorry that I'm so long in the tooth today, but um, but now I got so much I wanna I wanted to go over with you. But thank you so much for everything, guys. I I hope you know how much I appreciate it. And I looked. I don't know why I looked. I don't normally I, because I can't keep up with the comments. I, I think the more the more you have you know I read them what happens is they come on my Facebook page and uh, not my Facebook page my my email page so I read them then but I can't put a little heart or anything so I do read them and y'all know I read them sometimes I just laugh y'all just tickle me to death I just have the best time live reading all those uh, comments it just it's just so heartwarming and uh, I even got a email from a lady in South Africa, and um, that just warmed my heart. And of course, Susan, is it Susan? Mar yeah, Susan Marsh is from England, UK. So I've got her address to send the puzzles to. So I'm going to say goodbye, so I can get to work. It's already 7:16, so I need to get um, I need to get these things packed and labeled. So that I can get to the, to the mailman. She, it's a woman that, she and a he. I don't know. They seem got us all screwed up. I don't know who's going to be permanent anymore since they took John away from us. I know I miss him too. So anyway, I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say good night. Y'all have a great week. Have a great Thanksgiving. If I don't get back to you, probably not. 
I can't think of any, unless I make some more bags or something, but, um, but I think that's it for now. So I will see you guys soon. I'm sorry I'm talking so much, but, um, have a great, great time. Hi, David. Hi, Betty. Uh, I'll be giving you a call, sweetie, real soon. Like, I'll try. Um, I keep, I keep, every time I think about calling her, it's her nap time. <laughs> You don't call them Mills doing their nap time. <laughs> nap time for me is all the time, so y'all know what I mean. All right, I'm going to say goodbye, and I will talk to you later. Have a great week and a nice Thanksgiving. Stay home. Be safe. I'll be thinking of you. Bye.